As a diving organisation, you're using the ocean for business, you know, and a lifestyle. Um, ultimately, the education and the training and the exposure and allowing people to, to you know, have that underwater adventure, uh, I think goes hand in hand having wholeheartedly a responsibility to actually maintain that environment, protect it, look after it, and educate others about how to do those things and have those adventures whilst minimising the impact at the same time. Newly coming on board as a Sea Shepherd Dive partner and then coming together and actually doing our first yeah, event with yeah, exactly. Sea Shepherd Hall, it's been really exciting. Today was uh, our first dive cleanup combined with a beach clean. So we have uh, a Sea Shepherd Dive partner, the first dive partner in Australia, Dive to You, uh, joining up with Sea Shepherd <laughs> volunteers from Melbourne plus members of the public got uh, an organisation like Sea Shepherd who has got a very huge following, uh, really setting a fantastic example and as far as land based sort of stuff and the volunteers having a direct impact straight away so I think having being a scuba diving organisation and coming out and linking up with that we can then expand that volunteer base and bring them underwater so I guess as far as targeting marine debris in this example we can hit it from both sides mm. underwater and above. There's lots of things like uh, old fishing gear, like certainly lots of fishing line, squid jigs, hooks, those sort of things. Um, the other thing is also lead is another problem down there. We have lots of lead weights and they're also uh, adding poison into the water as well. So it's, it's just a, a vast array of stuff. Everything from uh, tiny little fishing things to shopping trolleys to who knows what. And uh, we just come down today to do a clean up dive underneath Morty Adult Pier and try and get rid of all the rubbish that we can find down there and anything that might be damaging to the environment. All about furthering the education of the people and understanding, uh, you know, the impacts, yeah. and at the same time allowing them to see it directly, and then start to hopefully change mindsets and move forward into setting a new benchmark of how we should operate as dive operators. Being a snorkeler and a scuba diver myself, you fall in love with what you see there, and you just think you have to fight. You have to make sure this is still there and. The, the amazing marine animals that you're privileged to see, you've got to look after them and you've, you've just got to think all this stuff that's running into off the beaches or the drains that are going in there and maintaining them or kill them, it's just, it's heartbreaking. So I think it's really about connecting and, and getting people to fall in love with the ocean and just realising that what they do, yeah, day to day makes a massive impact.